Hey guys, NYK31 here. It's a shame I don't have this full game on video. And it ended up turning on a boneheaded decision by a punt returner from my opponent, unfortunately. But this is the uh, NCAA Legacy Online Dynasty. Um, first game I recorded for it, and because of technical difficulties, I wasn't even to get the full game. <laughs> I mean, jeez. And with three interceptions, I would say they My goodness. That right now. But From the since you're robbed of the full down. game experience, I'm just going to have to yap. As you saw a turnover there. The and and they got to him I they want got to, to yap really about the big guys up front to probably my biggest pet peeve Get the runner in the backfield. about the game. And that is defensive user control. Yard line. Second down. Now my problem with it is not so much not being able to get to where I want to go on the field when I read a play, whether it be run or pass. My problem is once I go to make a break on a receiver or on the ball things feel clunky and unresponsive and there I just make a stupid decision 30 to 13 and now it's a two possession game and he is right back in it but I just find that defending the pass manually is a royal pain in the behind and some of its user error, I just gotta tighten up and um, eliminate some bad habits. We can't just roam around. I I figured out, you know, what they're trying to do. They're trying to get rid of those, you know, maniac over the shoulder on a dead sprint user ints that occur um, blindly. Where the guy goes into that Willie Mays basket catch animation, the the back to the ball. So I get it. I understand what they're trying to do, and I agree with what they're trying to do. If you want to make a play on the ball, you have to be square, and you have to be looking at the ball. High point the ball, make the play on the ball. Or break on the ball out of your strafe, if you're moving laterally. I get that. I fully support that. My issue is... That it's come at a price of, at the price of responsiveness. Because there have been several times where I'm there. I've transitioned out of my strafe to break on the thrown football. Squared myself up when I got to the circle and beat the guy out of the spot. Press either the SWAT or the INT button and nothing happens. And the guy catches the ball and it's a big gain or it's a touchdown. There's a lack of responsiveness between sprinting, strafing, and making a play for that football. So it really causes an issue. If you're someone who likes to play linebacker or safety, and I like this to do that, that's, that's my preference, but I find myself um, being put in compromising positions because of that, and then plus when you combine the ability for people to um, throw guys into space, it just makes it harder in general, and that's fine, but when you do make the right read, I don't feel like you're being rewarded for it um, like you were in the past. And that leads me to say to hell with it and just control blitzers or my best pass rusher. Which I don't have a problem with. You can certainly play that way and play well. You just have to be more in tune with your play calling and know the strengths and weaknesses of your roster more. But if you don't want to do that, then the game, you know, could stand to be a little bit more user friendly in that regard that's my own personal take i'd love to see what 
or hear what you guys think, or in this case, read what you guys think. Like in this game, using I'm using Colorado in this online dynasty, and I'm running um, the Tampa 2 with them. I have a very good um, middle linebacker. He's got his own coverage of 70. He does some things very well. Got a mini Tebow here at quarterback. Running the Notre Dame uh, spread no huddle. One of my favorite playbooks in the game. And there I am controlling Chadira Uzo Daribe. My best pass rusher. As you see, he whipped his man, got picked up by the guard. And... You know, you get a bonus, not really a bonus, but you have the ability to trigger your pass rush moves with your best guys if you're controlling the defensive line and um, get some four and five man pressure, which is, which is pretty hard to do in this game. Even when I'm using a team like um, Florida State that has one of the best offensive lines in the game, I find myself having to cover for a pretty long time when I'm rushing four and five. I don't like to have to rush more than that. Especially if I'm playing a cover two scheme. When I'm playing three three five stack, then you know, to heck with it. I'm being a zone and man blitz lunatic. And even four two five. And what I like to do with these online dynasties is just it just gives you guys a lot of different things to look at. Like in some online dynasties I'm playing three three five stack. And some I'm playing 4-3 Tampa 2, and I'm playing a 4-2-5 in one, so you get to see me play different styles instead of looking at the same thing all the time. And here I'm in this point in the game, this is where I really like to open up the uh, cover 2 umbrella, the Tampa 2. Hot right back middle linebacker deep, let him do his thing, to create that 3 deep, get after it with the front 4, and force some tough throws, having to make some hard throws here. This is the point in the game where you want to bring that sucker out. Kind of get in there. And that's just, that's, that's just Brian Urlacher-esque Tampa 2 middle linebacker play. That's great. That's very well done. If you can't, if you don't have a guy that can make that play, you can't play the Tampa 2. And here, he gets beat. That little read and react mishap. But that's fine. That's going to that's happen. The other guy is on scholarship too. He's allowed to make plays. But consistently, he makes that play for me. He does a very good job. And if you catch the ball underneath, he's going to wallop you. He's a very good player. Sucks that he's a senior. But what can you do? That's why we recruit, right? But... You know, I can't be the only one that feels that way because most of the people who I play online against in the online ranked world play with user ring at a defensive tackle or defensive end or a blitzer. I very rarely see guys who are able to um, user control a safety, a linebacker, a nickel or dime corner, and do it very well consistently to the point where you're um, wary of their presence. If anything, when I see someone controlling a deep safety, I throw at him. Because it is not an easy task. And chances are he's not going to be able to read the play, uh, sprint to the uh, intended receiver and then square up to make a play on the ball. And if he does, there's an excellent chance that his uh, command won't go through in time. So if anything, I barely read this in time. But if, if anything, it makes me want to challenge users more. And here's quarterback did a lot of that this game. That's unfortunate for him as a turnover on downs. And that pretty much ends the game. As I took a knee. But that is my take on user control. As you get to see some highlights here. Things you would have saw if I recorded the full game. This is my first user versus user win of the season. Here's the play of the game. Whoop! And he's out. I got a big game out of him. And did everything right. Colorado didn't care at all who was supposed to win or by what. They were the better team, plain and simple. I chose the Buffaloes because I wanted to choose a 
and we're, lo we're using all um, lower tier teams, but I wanted to use one that had a little bit of history and tradition. Colorado used to have a pretty good program. So why not build them up? Quarterback had a very strong game. Momentum now as they elevate their record to four and two, and for the Bulldogs, they fall to two and two. Ironically enough, I have La Tech in a dynasty as well. Now my screen got off pretty nicely. I have the best success with um, screens when I just let the auto drop do its thing and. Put just a little bit of touch in the ball. Not not throw a bullet, but not throw a lob either. I tend to have less of those um, UFOs on on halfback screens. Whoop! That was a sweet spin move there. Here's his pick six. So, what do you guys think about the user control? Are you guys having the same experience? Or are you guys having success? I'm always open to suggestions and the possibility of me being mistaken. I'm not much of a whiner or a complainer. I tend to be someone who, if something's giving me trouble, I look for ways to figure it out and solve it. So, I'd love to hear the experience you guys are having out there and if I need to just keep at it and polish my own um, skills up break some habits of past games then so be it I will do so and here are the game stats so I got more content coming up I got some games against some online frauds and glitchers Sim vs. Glitcher. Who will prevail? There's a lot of them out there. Lots. And you know Madden's going to be bad too. Ooh. More people. It's actually going to be worse because there's going to be more of them. <laughs> Many people just use NCAA as their Madden warm up. So they're all going to migrate to Madden. So that should be fun. Talk to you all later. Peace.